Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Thunder Ducky here, and we're going to be talking about Cardi B. So, if you don't know, Cardi B just recently went to one of Kamala's rallies, and it uh, didn't go so great. Um, I'm also going to be calling out Cardi B for being a hypocrite, and I got video evidence for it. But before I get into it, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like and comment, subscribe, and turn on your bell notifications so you know whenever I do a video or a live stream. Uh, currently, as of the recording of this, I'm sitting at 776. I am shooting for 1,000 by the end of the year. Got about two months to do it. And the only way I'm going to do it is through you guys. So if there's anything you want to see game-wise, let me know in the comments below. Or any topics you want to see me uh, cover, any song recommendations, like I've been doing Tom McDonald. I got one for Nova that I'm going to be doing here in about uh, five minutes once I get this video done recorded and everything put together. Um, so I do listen to recommendations, uh, which means I, I got to... I got, I got to sit down and play Hollow Knight uh, here soon. But this is about Cardi B. So <clears throat> Cardi B, around a year ago, came out and said that she wasn't going to be supporting anybody because if you support someone for the presidency, you're supporting uh, potential wars. Now I'm going to go ahead and play the clip where she says that. Don't fucking ask me. I don't give a fuck the resume that they send. I don't give a fuck. I'm not endorsing no fucking presidents no more. Because we could fund two wars. We could fund two wars. Motherfuckers talking about we don't got it, but we got it. Like, we're the greatest nation. No, the fuck we're not. We're going through some shit right now. Like, say it. Say it. We're really going through. Uh, we, we, we really, 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 really are fucked right now. And yeah, we talking about we f we could fund two wars. That's like a nigga trying to front like, yeah, I got the money to support two bitches, but you really don't. Y'all talking about y'all don't fucking y'all don't make negotiate negotiation with the Oswald. Y'all need to sit the fuck down with these people and find a, a, a and find agreement. No, we cannot fund these fucking wars. We can't keep it a bean. We can't. This is fucking crazy. And then you know, you know, so, like. You know what? I told myself this week, like, yo, the internet right now is too dark because celebrity drama, of course, we 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 love it. We inf we infuse with it. We watch it. But it's like, yo, that's little of what's really going on in the world right now. That's nothing compared to what's going on in the world right now. The world is in fucking shambles. Yeah. So she came out. And she said that she's no longer, she's not going to support anybody. She's not going to um, endorse any presidents, uh, nothing like that, because of the potential of getting into new wars. And this was roughly a year ago where she did that video. Now, Kamala Harris is running, and Cardi B comes out, and she comes out in support of Kamala Harris. Now, no big news there, right? We had a lot of celebrities come out and support Kamala Harris. We had uh, Jennifer Lopez just do it. We had... Uh, ben Stiller, we had the cast of the Avengers, which I'll have a video for. Um, was Megan Thee Stallion, and then um, I think Beyonce, and there was supposed to be like a concert or some shit, but uh, they lied, and there wasn't a concert. Um, but what's interesting that I want a lot of people to look at is the fact that if you vote for Kamala, you're voting for someone who has to use a teleprompter, which means they use a script, which means they're an actor. Nobody should have to go on stage and use a script if they're going to endorse somebody. They should know what they're going to say when they're endorsing someone. They should know um, policies the person's going to have, especially when it pertains to a politician or someone like at your job that got promoted or something like that, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the other clip that I got for you guys, and then I'll have some comments after that. One second, guys. One second. Okay. So I don't take lightly the call. Sorry, guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, guys. I've been waiting for this moment this whole life, my whole life. I need patience over here. Patience, where are you, girl? I need patience over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you guys doing tonight? 
how you guys doing tonight? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to make history? Are we ready to change these four years? No. Are we ready to change the next eight years? Because we're going to make sure we have Kamala Harris in office for eight years. Thank you. Yeah. So that's her rambling because the teleprompter died. And she had to wait for someone to bring her a phone so she could continue reading the script. And if you watch the entire time, she she looks straight up just and reading and reading and reading and reading. And it's like, okay, well, if you're trying to sell it, how about looking at the crowd? How about um, making a comp? Well, please don't because we just saw what happens when you have to uh, ad lib. Uh, so maybe not. Maybe not just do it. But first, she's not endorsing anybody. Now she's endorsing Kamala Harris. Um, and she kept saying, are you ready to make history or ready to do that? And we need to get Kamala Harris in for eight years. Why? She's been in for three years and the shit has been hitting the fan. And she came out and said that she would change nothing that Joe has been doing. And then whenever Trump mentioned the whole taking away um, taxes, whenever it comes to um, tips, I don't know if she mentioned anything about the income tax. But the moment he mentioned um, taking away the taxation on tips, she jumped on that. She's like, oh, if you uh, you endorse me, you guys vote for me, um, I will um, not tax tips. And then she lost some uh, people who are the black side because uh, Obama came out and basically called all black men idiots if they didn't vote for Kamala. And then to fix that, she decided, well, I guess I will give y'all reparations for X amount of time and... Um, give you special access to funding for small businesses and stuff. And it's like, okay, how is you doing that not deemed racist? Because you're specifically looking at the black population. And I think that's why Cardi B, to bring it back, is talking about making history. Not only is she saying making history about her being a uh, first woman president, but I guarantee you it's about her skin color. Because people like me on the right side... Except for, of course, there's some there's some outliers. There always is left, right, whatever. Don't give a flying fuck about your skin color. The Democrats give a fuck about your skin color because they're always talking about, well, black people this, black people that, and they always focus on blacks, Latinos, and stuff like that. And and it's like, okay, well, why? There is nothing in this country that a black person can't do that a white person can. None. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got for you, just to show you that Cardi B is an absolute nut. And then, of course, you know, Kamala being Kamala and the fact that they have to use teleprompters, which is absolutely ridiculous. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Make sure you like and comment, subscribing, turning on your bell notifications so you know whenever I do a video, do a live stream. Catch you later.